Hey everyone, I'm Hamilton, creator and lead Python Blender of Hamy Labs. Today I'm going to be talking about how to create some basic shapes in Blender uh, using the Python API. Specifically, I'm going to tell you how to create a sphere, a cube, and also a pyramid or a 3D triangle uh, using the Blender Python API. By learning how to instantiate some of these really basic shapes, I think this will give you a good core uh, for how to actually create items or objects into your scene. Um, that you can use for all sorts of other general scripting purposes. All right, so to do this, I'm gonna give you a quick intro into um, the Blender Python API, and then show you some examples of how I actually instantiated these objects into my scene with code, and then give you the source code so that you can kind of copy and paste that into your own projects and use it however you need. So let's go ahead and jump over to the demo and I can kind of explain how it works. Okay, so here we are in Blender. Um, you can see that we just have a few objects here. I've got my cube, my sphere, and my pyramid, um, or you know, 3D triangle, whatever you're gonna call it, uh, all in my scene. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these objects and show you um, that we are creating it with script uh, and, and how you can actually do that yourself. So I'm gonna jump over to the scripting uh, screen and I'll move this over a little bit and let me see if I can enlarge this at all. Uh oh, I did something. Okay, there we go. Um, so hopefully you can see that. I'll move this over as well. Okay, so here we can see that my screen is empty. Um, here we have some code and I'm just gonna run this code. You can run it just by clicking this little play button here. And we can see that we've instanti instantiated the cube, the sphere, and the triangle. Um, here in the scene collection, we can also see that we've got these. Um, so it's just in our scene as usual. So now let's talk about the code itself. So starting from the top to the bottom, um, first I'm importing a library BPY. Um, this is just a library that gives you access to Blender. It comes from Blender itself. Um, and this is basically how we're able to interact with the scene and create these objects. Next, I'm just importing list um, from typing. Uh, I thought this would be easier if I showed you typed Python. Um, so you can kind of see what types are supposed to go inside of um, each of these calls to BPY. So we'll talk about these a little bit in a sec, but basically what I've done um, for each of these, the cube, um, the sphere, and the triangle is pull out um, the calls to BPY and to these little helper functions. Uh, the reason I did this is because I think it's just simpler to see this way. I can also add types so you can see what types are supposed to go here. Um, and there's a few things on each of these calls to BPY that I think are just too complicated um, and unnecessary and for like 90% of people's use cases. Uh, so this is just a way simpler way to do this. So basically what I've done is I've defined um, the add cube, add sphere, and add cone method. Uh, that's how we're making a pyramid. Um, and pulled them out and made them a little bit simpler, uh, added types and stuff for easy copy paste. So the way Python works is when you run it, um, it's just gonna run down until it finds something that it needs to run. All of these are definitions, so they won't actually run yet. Um, the first thing that actually runs is this main here, uh, which is going to call into this main function that I've defined. Um, it will print running uh, in a different terminal I have open. Um, and then we're gonna say add cube at zero, zero which is here, we can see that this is at 000, add sphere at 003, which is here, which is again at 003, and then add cone, uh, which is actually our pyramid. Um, you can create a triangle using cone with three, creates a pyramid with four, um, etc. cetera. A little trick there. Um, and if we click on it, we'll also see that it's at 006. So looking at my little helper methods, um, basically I've just allowed you to call in um, with size, location, rotation, and scale. For a few of these like sphere, I'll also add a few things like subdivision or radius. Um, and for cone, the vertices, radius one and radius two, which I think uh, people will probably want to change pretty often. Things that I haven't added in are calc UVs, um, inner edit mode, and align, which most people are just gonna want these basic uh, configurations. Um, and if you want to learn more about that, you can go look at the official documentation, but that's outside the scope of this tutorial. And so I've just kind of set it to what I think most people will need. So using these helper methods that I've created and also the BPY or Blender Python API functions that are within the helper methods, you can easily get started by creating um, really basic meshes 
inside your own scenes using the Python API. So if you wanna get started as fast as possible, I've got this source code up on my website along with links to the official uh, Python API documentation. I will have a link to that post below. So you can just kind of click there, um, copy and paste the code and get started. Now, if you wanna learn more about um, some of the other functions that are available to you via the Blender Python API or um, some of the more configuration options that I kind of glossed over here in this video, then I would definitely recommend going to uh, the official docs. It can be a lot uh, to take in all at once. There's kind of all the information just there, but that really is the best place to um, learn about a code base, get up-to-date info information without actually going into uh, the code itself. Now, all that said, um, I did create this video uh, because I was getting a lot of messages and comments asking for uh, more simple tutorials with Python and Blender. So if you do run into anything while you're reading the docs or diving in anymore, uh, feel free to comment and I'll look into trying to learn it myself um, and putting out some tutorials, explanations about how things work. So I think that's about it for this one. I'm trying to keep this one short. So thanks for watching. Uh, Hang me dot out.